I'm Corey Duke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works for You. We're following the continuing surge in COVID-19 cases in Oklahoma and in Tulsa County. More than 2,300 Oklahomans tested positive for COVID-19, according to the State Department of Health's report yesterday. 376 of those new cases right here in Tulsa County, where 3,400 cases are currently active. The OSDH also reported that 11 more Oklahomans have died from COVID-19. The state has lost 1,481 people since the pandemic began. And Muskogee Public Schools has decided to move to virtual learning beginning Monday, November 16th, and will stay in distance learning until December. December 7th. This as more students have tested positive so far in November than all of the month of October. Hundreds of students and dozens of staff members are currently quarantined. And over in Jinx, the district announced that all secondary students 7th through 12th grades will move to distance learning on Monday through December 7th. And in this morning, Broken Arrow police are looking for witnesses to a shooting that sent two people to the hospital with life threatening injuries. Police say this happened just after 8 last night near the McDonald's on West Albany and South 145th East Avenue. If you have any information, call the Broken Arrow Police Department. And Governor Kevin said joining a group of state lawmakers calling for an investigation into the state's Department of Education. This after an audit shows that Epic Charter Schools owes millions to the state treasury. Lawmakers want to see if there's anything else the department missed. Now let's get a look at your forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. Thank you very much, Corey. Chilly conditions out there this morning, starting off in the low to mid 30s, and it's going to be a cooler day for us with upper 50s increasing clouds throughout the day. Rain chances pick up later on tonight, heading into the overnight hours, but it will be windy and warm tomorrow afternoon at 73, 60 for Sunday, and then a dry stretch for weather next week. And that's your headlines. I'm Corey Duke. Two works for you.